as the battle is raging on in Washington, Peter Schiff of Euro-Pacific Capital is taking his argument against raising taxes on the wealthy to the streets. In today's Wall Street Journal, he writes the fantasy of a 91% top income tax rate. And Peter says taxing the wealthy simply will not work. And the attention should be on spending cuts. Yeah, but Richard Brodsky of Demo says he's got it wrong. Both join us now and kind of hash it out here. And Richard, what about that? I mean, it's a fair question. We so much uh, focus on the revenue side of this argument, the tax increases or whatever is going to come out of that deal. But the discussion hasn't really gone to the spending well, side so much. Look, Peter has a political loser in the sense that the president isn't going to agree to that. But he's also got a bad economic argument. We have run out of supply side economics as a model for how to fix this economy. We need to put a thousand dollars in the hands of a hundred families rather than a hundred thousand dollars in the hands of one family. You got to stimulate demand by putting cash in the hands of people who are going to buy things. When we tax the rich, we do not really affect the demand side. Supply side is over. The president knows it. People in the United States know it. Peter hasn't figured it out yet. Peter, do you care to rebuff? Of course he does. Well, first of all, it's it's supply that creates demand. Just printing money and giving it to uh, the middle class so that they can spend it isn't going to create any economic growth. We need purchasing power. We need productivity. But raising taxes on the top 2%, look, they're already paying more than their fair share. And increasing taxes on that group isn't going to solve the problem. We do need to dramatically cut government spending. And if we fail to do that, then we're going to have to increase taxes dramatically on the middle class. You see, the fiscal cliff is just a small down payment on paying the piper. The we have to pay is, for all this the government. The big that mistake that was that growing government. settled out in the election. And although there's a room for balance, I don't say Peter's wrong entirely, the fact of the matter is that the top 2% are not paying their fair share. The American people don't think so, and the numbers don't add up. If wait, you want to deal here, wait a minute. you're going to have to raise the rates, and then if you want to talk about spending cuts, as I think the president will eventually do, right. you'll see a last minute First of all, yeah, I'm ahead. in the top 2%. Right now, I'm paying 45% of my total income in, in income taxes, both for the state of Connecticut and the federal government, and if you take the 3% uh, Medicare tax. After the tax hikes go into effect Peter. next year, more than, more than half, more than half of my total income is going to go to the government. Now, you tell me, what's fair about that? When we, medieval serfs pay 25%, you I'm paying half, that. and I don't care, excuse me, I don't care what the majority voted to do. They don't have a right to steal my money just because they vote for it. What, what, I'll tell you what, what, what the problem is. We're in a crisis. We're in a crisis caused by the Bush policies, unfunded wars, tax cuts we couldn't afford, and we've got to dig our way out. In the process of digging our way out, the president is saying that the wealthiest are most able to contribute to that workout. But it's not going to dig it, us out. It's not going to no, dig us out just raising the taxes no, no, on the wealthy. It, it is not going to dig us out alone. It's a very, very, very small and minor drop in the ocean but in the grand scheme of things. It, you know what the wealthy are going to do? They're going to invest more abroad. They're not going to work as hard. They're not going to pay as much in taxes. They're not going to employ as many people. Their employees aren't going to pay the they, taxes. Look, they a, didn't a, do a, that a when Dwight Eisenhower got a was mandate to steal all the rich and give okay. people to vote for. It's not going to work. Rich people will not do that. They're going to do what's right. Oh, yes, they will. We, we can go back to the Clinton rates. We can go back to the Eisenhower rates, raise substantial revenues. And yes, I don't want to make it no, sound we like didn't. spending. Cuts That's the are point not of my op ed. Nobody can do it. We're going to have to break it up here. We're going to have to, to, have to rise above. Those rates. Pencils rise down, everybody. <laughs> Okay. I, I feel like we've risen above, don't you? I don't I'm know. All, I'm all Are we any closer above. now? I don't Do think so. Do you feel so. any higher than you were before? I don't know, but yeah, I know. <laughs> we'll but, try. But that in, a nutshell, that in a nutshell is what's going on in Washington right now yes. as well.